hey guys what's up so we are back with a new video and today we are going to talk about the zigo cloud the new platform for integrate the voice or video call uh video call a feature in your application with your favorite framework or, or library so uh, there are uh, there are many other things you can do with the zigo cloud they all they also introduce uh the the new thing which is the ui kits so zigo clouds have ui kits for uh, like they have like pre-built ui kits for your uh, app application and you can just uh, plug and play with that UI kits and just and you are just good to go. So UI kits are basically uh, uh, you can say a, com a component for your uh, component for your favorite framework. So it can also integrate with the uh, web, Android, iOS, uh, and for the cross platform for the React Native and Flutter. So it can integrate with anything out there. And uh, like there are many uh, components and many th many other things. Uh, you can you can do with the uh, zico cloud platform which is like one-on-one -on -one calls group calls video conference live streaming live audio room in app chat many other many things you can do uh with this in this within the one platform and there and you can see that there are many ui kits which are just uh, you can say you can just plug and play and you are good to go with your application so on sign up you will also get the ten thousand free minutes for the uh on sign uh, for the for integration with uh, integration of the voice or video call with your application so let's uh, start building one uh, so we are going to uh, make the small make a small application with flutter and integrate zigo cloud with the uh, with the flutter framework and let's see uh, how it goes with the ui kits okay so to integrate zigo cloud with your favorite uh, framework uh, you have to just sign up for the uh, Zigo Cloud and then uh, you will navigate to this uh, dashboard in which you in which you just have to create a new project as you can see here that I have this free 10 10,000 minutes for the uh, call and you can also uh, see that the uh, support plan minutes remaining so there these, these are basically the support plan which will be given on uh, on the new sign up so and there is a 10,000 minute free usage so for to to integrate the uh, zoo cloud you first have to create a new project and from here you can just uh, uh, see for uh, see the, any use case uh, for your, uh, for your application like video conference live streaming as i already told you regarding this so we are just uh, uh, making the uh, voice and uh, voice and video call so this is basically kind of a, you can say a ui kit for this and then we are going to press next and then we have this like uh, we have to create choose a project name so we will just create a new uh, project for this and then and then you can see there that there are two ways to get started like uh, to use the ui kits uh, in which you can say, uh, see that there there are um, uh, UI kits for uh, every platform like Android, iOS, Web, React Native, and Flutter, right? So we are going to integrate the UI kit with Flutter. So we have like we have to uh, just uh, copy uh, this code, or you, we can just start with the UI kits or just see the configuration for that. Or you can see uh, set the, uh, use the SDK for the uh, for your use case, or you can like. You can see there for the for the Flutter framework we have to uh, build all this uh, uh, from the uh, from the scratch right. So uh, we are going to uh, make application with the UI kit so I can so we can see that how is it easy to uh, get started with this. So just uh, we are going to click the start with UI kits and then uh, it will it will navigate to the new page. So uh, it will it will create a new application and we can just start uh, building our application. So we are going with the Flutter. So we will select this as an option, and then uh, like we have some you can say uh, we can, we get some config uh, set some config from uh, within within the Zigo platform for the uh, for the integration of the UI kit, and then we can just uh, start save and start to integrate, or you can just make this. Uh, enable okay so then uh, as you can see that we have this app id and app sign in in the in the author on the authentication so we have to use uh, these two these two keys keys as an 
uh, uh, as to integrate the UI kit with Flutter. And then uh, we can see the option here, uh, the quick start guide. So just click in here and we will we will just uh, navigate to the new page in which we can see that what we have to do. So uh, first of all, uh, we have to install this package, which is which is the Zago UI kit pre-built call. This is the package we have to use. And then we have to import this uh, SDK in our Flutter application. And there are some uh, code for the uh, call page in which uh, we will integrate all uh, all the uh, UI, UI kit for that. And there are some other, other configuration as well. So we will see in a bit. So let's go to code then. Okay, so in here, as you can see that uh, I have a Flutter application running and it will have it, it is has some a simple login uh, button in the first page and what will what uh, with this uh, with this login button we can we will just uh, create a fake login to uh, uh, to create a to create a new user and, and so that two different users can just uh, and then you can say that chat or video call with with each other right so uh, i'm talking about the configuration so what we have to do that first first as i already told you that we have to uh, let me just zoom a bit yeah so in here as, as i already told you that we have to install this uh, package with zico ui kit prepared call and then uh, from the uh, android folder i'm talking about the android uh, uh, android uh, configuration and in the android folder in the app we have this built grid gradle right so we have to change two two things from here first of all the compile sdk version should be uh, 33 and the in the default config uh, object you can see the minimum sdk version it should be like 21 right so these two uh, these two things we have to change change it in here and then uh, for the uh, there are one more change in the android manifest so then we have to go to the android manifest.xml and we as you can see that there are multiple permissions in here that you have to uh, put it in here right before running the project so the, all this all these things all these things you can you can just uh, see it in here in your uh, in this uh, link i will also share it in description regarding the flutter so you can see all this all this configuration from this uh, uh, documentation that they have uh, like pretty uh, pretty good documentation for it i i showed you for the android but you can also uh, there are some pretty uh, configuration for the ios also so there there are these these are these things uh, we have to do before the before running the project right okay then so after that just close these things okay so i've uh, created this call page right so this call page is just the uh, you can say uh, this uh, this code is coming from uh, here right so this is just a simple call page. Uh, let me show you what I did. Okay, so in here in this call page, uh, as you can see that we have just a simple uh, uh, stateless widget, which is uh, just returning this uh, Zago UI kit pre-built call uh, widget from from its package. And then uh, the app ID and app sign-in, which, which we have got uh, after the sign-up, we, we have to put it in here, right? And then this is uh, this is the user ID. User ID uh, should be unique, so uh, we will generate some random uh, random strings for the for the user ID. So user ID should be unique. And then we have to uh, so that's why I've created a fake login for that. So uh, different user can log in and just uh, get one to one on call. And then we have, we have this username, which will just the user underscore that the whatever the user ID uh, will be generated, right? And then we have this uh, config. So uh, we have this config for the one-on-one -on -one video calls. So there are uh, pretty uh, other options as well, like group voice call, one-on-one -on -one video call, one-on-one -on -one voice call. So we are just going with the one-on-one -on -one video call, right? And then uh, we have just a uh, simple configuration uh, for uh, for that uh, Zigo UI kit. So uh, in this uh, this call ID, uh, this call uh, this call ID is important for like uh, whenever we uh, going to uh, call this widget call page we have to pass the call id for that right so uh, call id uh, call id is uh, you can say is like a room so if we if we pass the call id like one two three right so whatever uh, uh, whatever the user uh, whenever the user will join this 
this this call id the same the same call id right so it will just uh, group uh, like it will just uh, make communicate one to one on the on the on that same room right so uh, after after clicking on this login button uh, we will just navigate to this uh, call page with the same call id and with the different users like uh, what uh, um, how typical uh, voice calling applications is working right so we will just uh, go with this that uh, on press we have to do uh, two things first of all user uh, we have to make uh, a unique user id and then we have to make the call id so what we will, what we can do it in here that uh, we can pass uh, the user id on the argument as well so what we can do is in here that uh, it is the required for the user id as well so it will be a string and it will be a user id right so uh, we can just uh, uh, generate a user id from here and we can just pass it in here so let's just cut that and then we are going to going to main the dot and we will just navigate to the uh, login page with the with some user id so let's do that then so first of all we need uh, the user id right and then we need some uh, chat id as well so it, there will be a chat id which is chat id i'm just uh, making it like a simple string for the one two three so it will be same for the different users and then we will just navigate to the route so we have this uh, call id uh, let make it uh, the chat id first chat id right and then we have to uh, navigate to that call page right so then we have to do that uh, navigator dot push and then we have this context and then we have uh, we will have this uh, route in which we have to uh, navigate so then we will do that okay so here will be material page route right and then sorry we have this builder in which we just have to uh, make pass the callback function with the context and in here we will we will call our uh, we will call our uh, page so uh, with the material page out uh, we will just in the callback function we will just uh, call our call page and in here we have to pass two arguments which one is call id uh, so there's not a chat id it is call id actually so it is a call id and the uh, random generated user id so here we go okay then so and then for the random it we have to import the math library from flutter uh, from dart so in here as you can see that we have this uh, simple uh, material, material page route right and uh, to navigate with the uh, login system the fake login system so let's just extract it to the uh, new widget so it will just work perfectly so as you can see we have this home widget simple and uh, we have this uh, all the things right okay then so let's test it out so we'll just hard refresh the all the all the changes and we have just and then after clicking on the login button as you can see uh, we have this uh, in the in the in the emulator we have this like uh, uh, with the fake camera like it's, it has this as a virtual camera and, and you can see that we have this uh, other options as well for the call decline mute the audio speaker uh, front camera back camera all the things like that right so uh, to uh, to make uh, to view it more clear i i will uh, put it on a second device also uh, with uh, with the usb cable and then we will see how this chat works so as you can see it in here that uh, in this 
emulator icon you can see my face hello so and and in my mobile i can see the other emulator right so these two different users are now chatting with each other and uh, the video call is just uh going very smoothly with the, as you can see the other mic stuff as well so yeah that's the thing so as you see that uh, how this uh, ui kit works very perfectly and it is uh, how it is quite easy and uh, very fast to integrate integrate that with uh, flutter or any framework you like so that's the uh, that's the end of this video hope you hope you like it and enjoyed enjoyed with this ego cloud so sign up with this ego cloud and get you 10,000 minutes free and just in, in just and you can just integrate with the uh, with your favorite framework when you are easy and you are good to go with their UI kits. So, see you in the next video. Bye bye.